Which cell phone provider should you get when you land in Canada as an international student or as a newcomer to Canada? Hmm. Now, the answer to that question is going to depend on two things. One, where in Canada are you going to make sure that that provider has coverage in that area? Very important. And two, what's your budget? Now, when I landed in Canada almost 10 years ago as an international student, Wind Mobile at the time, which is now called Freedom Mobile. And that was 10 years ago, and that is still the phone provider I have today. So I'm speaking to you from experience. This is as told by Canadian immigrants, as told by experience. Now, before you go clicking away on Google, Freedom Mobile, don't worry, all of the links to everything are included in this video, but also I have a $25 gift for you. So watch through to the end, let's get acquainted with Freedom Mobile and then get your $25 off your first bill. Hi, I am Christina, a 10 year Canadian immigrant. I came as an international student and made my way all through to citizenship in five years and I'm here to help you to navigate the Canadian immigration system. Today we're going to talk about Freedom Mobile and we're going to navigate their website to help you understand how easy and convenient it is and can be to figure this out even before you get to Canada or just when you get to Canada. Now, Freedom Mobile had a lot of options at the time and even now they have way more options for you as a newcomer and COVID really helped in some ways by speeding up the world in terms of their reliance or um, use of technology and non-in-person services. So you can talk to free people on Freedom Mobile on WhatsApp. You can email them, you can call them, whatever. But of course, if you're in your home country and you just want to get some information, you can literally message them on WhatsApp and they respond pretty well and pretty quickly. So I really like that. And most places are doing that anyway, but I really like that about Freedom Mobile. So let's just hop over to the Freedom Mobile website just to show you what your options are and how easy it is for you to get set up with Freedom Mobile. So here we are on the Freedom Mobile website, okay? The first thing you want to do is to see, well, what are the plans that are available to you, right? You, you wanna get a plan or you wanna get your phone. And as a newcomer, you don't have any credit. Um, you have no credit history. So therefore, you are going to have to choose a prepaid plan, which means that you're paying for your service before the month, at the beginning of the month versus at the end of the month, which would be more like a postpaid. Also with Freedom Mobile, you can bring your own phone, which is great, but you can get a phone from them. If you get a phone from them, that is also tied to your credit. So as a newcomer, it is very likely that that won't happen, but that's okay. Bring your phone and Freedom Mobile has a thing on their website where you can actually check to make sure your phone is compatible. Cause depending on where you're coming from, if you have like a blue phone, it might not work. Maybe, maybe not. But, but here we are on the website. So you can choose the type of plan you want, whether you want 5G, which is the, the, the new in thing, or you can go 4G, that's fine. That's 4G is what we're most accustomed to for the most part. Um, bring your own device or get a new device. So you're going to go bring your own device because you're probably coming from your home country with a phone. If you're going to get a new device, it is likely that you're gonna to have to pay for it in full versus the luxury that a lot of Canadians have, which is pay for it on a monthly basis over time. So you'll be on like a two-year plan or a one-year plan. But since you're coming here as a newcomer and I don't think you're going to try to be spending money on a new phone, I think you're gonna bring your own device. One thing you want to do for 100% certain is to check to make sure that your device is compatible. Now, you can see on here where they kind of have the type of phones. So they have the common brands, right? And I know that in Jamaica, for example, Blue, B-L-U, um, is a popular phone brand, which you don't see on the list here, but that's fine. If you go to other, they're giving you some instruction to dial star number sign, zero six number sign, and it will display what's called your IMEI number. You're gonna take that number and you're gonna put it here and go next to check your device compatibility. You want to make sure that when you put the SIM card in your phone, it's gonna work. So once you check your compatibility and you're all good to go, you have here are the pricing plan options, right? So you can do a 
$24 a month, $19 a month, $29 a month. Here's that $19 a month thing that I mentioned before even getting there. And it's just going to depend on how much data you need or you think you need and how much text and talk you need. Do you need unlimited? Most of these are unlimited text and talk nationwide, meaning um, across Canada. And of course, as you go up in price, the data increases. So, and here's the thing that they have where if you bring your own phone, it includes a $5 a month credit for 24 months for a limited time only. So they have like a promotional thing going on, of course, because they want you to get this plan. And those are the benefits of getting that plan. So for two, for two years, you'll get $5 off of this if you come and bring your own phone and get this plan as a newcomer. So it's, you can always start off with the bare minimum and you can increase as needed. Now, the thing with data um, here in Canada is that like a lot of places, most places have free Wi-Fi. So it just depends on how um, specific or particular you are about your data privacy and such and connecting to public networks. You don't want to go everywhere and connect to public networks. But I think that we are all pretty accustomed to connecting to Wi-Fi networks, a lot of the places that we go, airports, whatever cases, it's not the safest thing to do. So just be careful. But a lot of places have Wi-Fi. Your school will have Wi-Fi if you're coming here as an international student. The coffee shops have Wi-Fi. Um, most restaurants or fast food places have Wi-Fi. McDonald's has Wi-Fi. And so once you're in a Wi-Fi zone, then you're good. You can just be connected to the Wi-Fi. And then once you are trans transiting between your home and wherever you're going to school or um, to the library, the library has Wi-Fi. But once you're um, transiting between the two places is probably where you'll need Wi-Fi and probably GPS so you don't get lost. I just had to navigate somebody, um, an international student, I believe, who was going to Centennial College. He was at an intersection. I was like, I'm trying to get this bus and I'm trying to get to the like the eastbound bus stop, the westbound bus stop. Where is West? I'm like, West is that way. There's the bus stop over there. And he had his GPS on his phone because he's trying to navigate the city. So you definitely want to have some sort of data unless you want to be old school and walk around with a map. If that's your thing, you know, um, but maybe the bare minimum can get you by just for your data and then you can upgrade as needed. So this was a quick one on, well, what phone provider should you use? I use Freedom Mobile. I have been using Freedom Mobile for the last 10 years. I have never switched. I don't have any problems. Um, I live in an area that has good enough coverage. And if there is a spot in between that doesn't have good coverage as there has been, it hasn't been a big deal for me because then you're just passing through that point and how like do you need your phone 24 7 or data 24 7 no you don't so as long as you can confirm for yourself that along your route you're good in terms of coverage where you live you're good in terms of coverage where your school is in terms of coverage and here they have like coverage maps so if you go to um network coverage they have coverage maps and you can zoom in to Toronto, the Toronto area, for example, and they're showing you different where they have the 4G versus the 5G. So of course, Toronto is uptown like that. So them have like 5G. Yeah. But like other places have 4G coverage outside of the greater Toronto area here. But for the most part, a lot of places have 5G. And if you're coming to school in Ontario, most schools are in this area here, except for like where it's in London, which is down here, which also has 5G. Now, if you're going to another province, this is where you want to check your coverage. So Alberta is somewhere over here if you're going to Alberta. Um, and here is Edmonton. So Edmonton has some coverage and some other places. So this is what you want to do to just double check to make sure that your coverage and your, your location is all good and that Freedom Mobile works for you. And if it does, it is a plan that I do recommend. It is a company I do recommend um, based on my personal use. And I have had a good experience with them. I have had a good experience with trying to communicate with them on WhatsApp. And it's cheap. <laughs> It's very affordable and the plan I have no longer exists. So you can't get a plan at what I'm paying for anymore because my plan is 10 years old and I refuse to change from it unless something better comes along, which is hard to compete with. But in any case, you saw the plans that they have and I think that these are really 
pretty cheap and affordable if we're going if you do 5g of course it's 5g it's a little bit different if you want the 5g coverage there you go but i think that you're good with 4g and that you know mine is 4g and that it starts as cheap as 19 dollars a month and you kind of work your way up so about 34 dollars plus get this five dollars off which is going to be about 29 dollars a month for your plan so if you're thinking there is a link in the description below this video to get $25 off your next phone bill or off your first phone bill rather as a newcomer. Of course, your bill has to be more than $25. So read the fine print, but you can get $25 off your first bill on me. And that is my affiliate link. I, you don't pay any extra and you help me out. Capitalize on the savings as best you can where you can and save your money and put it somewhere else. Thinking about your budget, that's something that you can put into there is your phone plan at about $29, $30 a month for data and phone um, use. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the share button with anybody you think this is going to be helpful to. If you're not already subscribed, please join my community and subscribe to this YouTube channel and uh, hit the notification bell for more helpful videos like this. I'm Christina and I will see you in the next video.